Ladies and gentlemen, we are ready for more MMA action in the featherweight division. Please welcome to case side, Lanky Fair. I'd see these guys fight. Really nice character. In the past, when he's been on food and fighting, like the gas tank you mentioned, absolutely just seems to carry on going and going and going. It's always a good thing. The worst thing is when you're in that cage, you're gassing. You know, like, you should get to the stage now where no fight gasses, but if you've got good cardio, it just means you can up the pace of how you're fighting. And you'll see this with this guy, he sets his own pace and goes at it. Yeah. And they don't, they don't seem to be intimidated. So there must be something, a, a lot of the time you expect fighters uh, to all be machines, but they're not. They're emotional guys. They're, they're, you know, they're people who have their own insecurities and have a lot of issues, you know, stuff that comes up in, along the way to a fight. The stage, the nerves, everything can drain your gas tank. What's interesting with these guys is they step into cases just don't seem to, don't seem to have a care in the world. Poker face on all the time as well. It's almost like a pure confidence battle, but I like it. I always find it interesting that it's um, it's a trait that's often followed by the guys from the gym. You know, so it's obviously inbuilt at this team beast. For these guys to perform in this way, the coaches instill it. Uh, it's interesting how. It's Tim, do you think Rajiv will try and keep this standing or do you think he's going to try and take it to the floor considering Tan has got that jiu-jitsu background? Um, yeah, I mean, uh, this is an interesting one because um, Rajiv's going to, you know, he's going to throw a lot of leather. Um, you know, he trains, you know, his coaches Lap and, uh, Lap and Sandeep Sekhon, uh, uh, you know, are great jiu-jitsu practitioners themselves. Having said that, I've seen Tan train. The guy is like, um, he's like Rain Man for Jiu Jitsu moves, you know. He's, he, he, you know, he teaches him one thing, he remembers it for forever, and that's it. So, I think it's one of those fights where there isn't really a strength zone for either fighter. Absolutely. Tan, a very quiet guy outside the cage. That's what, he's like a sponge when it comes to absorbing Jiu Jitsu knowledge. He just uh, thinks about it every day. He said to it, said it to me himself in the change rooms earlier. You know, he's always training hard. And like I said, he competes in jiu-jitsu a lot. So you know, it's that strong jiu-jitsu background. See if he can put it into practice tonight. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I think what we might see is Ranjeev might be uh, a little bit more of the aggressor. But I think it's it's that classic. You know, you can get sucked into that spider's web problem where a little bit too much over-aggression will get you into problems. Absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime! Right here at Epson Pounds, we're exposed, and we are ready for three. We're going to go down to the amateur MMA in the Fed Division. Fusion 24, introduce first, fighting out of the corner, winning the division at 66 kilograms, with one win, and just one defeat, Go. Yeah. Wow. Right, 
double leg straight away, trying to press him up against the cage. Strange, quick turn of events. Look how fast Rangiva's moving. He was instantly the aggressor with his hands. Tan, massively, inst looking for the arm lock here. Looking for to isolate the shoulder. Can't do it, can't get the pressure sideways. Goes again. Both fighters are dry at the minute, Tim, as well. Oh, as, uh, the speed of this already. Time. Look at this. He's, he's pulling over. He's gonna, that looks close. He's attacked it now three to four times. Still got a good hold where, on it as well. Yeah, I wonder where Ranjeev is gonna, gonna think about how he's gonna create his posture to get away from that secure, get that arm out. He's kind of using his head now, grinding it, and he's mm. postured out. He wants it standing. Yeah. Tam with an overhand right, wow. But he did that well. He used the, he used the shot to then make the, uh, make, you know, make the penetration to the, to the clinch. And he instantly looks for the single leg, looks to trip him, comes up, doesn't get it. Ranjeev is resisting. Oh, but now Tan's straight to side control, looking to north-south here. Lovely transition. Yeah. Ranjeev gets it back to half guard. Nicely done. And then, is he looking to pull it back to full guard? Yes, he does. Nicely done. Really good, really good technique by both guys right now. Good jiu -jitsu. Tying the arms up again from underneath as Ranjeev. I think he's looking for to control this so that he can get it stood up from the ref. Yeah, if, he, if he slows the action down, he's hoping the ref will stand it back to where he wants it to be. For the moment, Tan not giving him any room. He doesn't give him any room on his feet. Tactically savvy. Oh, look at this, throws up the triangle. Wow, that's lovely. He needs, to, he needs to square, he needs to turn himself here, he needs to get that leg across the back, he needs to close and lock that triangle up, which he can't do. Tan is defending it nicely, keeping himself straight. Absolutely, you can see that little gap in the legs just behind Tan's head. Yeah. That's the breathing space he's got at the minute. Yeah. And Jeeves gonna look to he try can't, and cut that angle maybe yeah, a little bit. Yeah, I, th I think he, he can't, he's not gonna be able to lock it up like it is. Tan's got the perfect position. He's stopping him moving to moving to his right. Oh, and he does there. He starts to move. He's, gonna, he's getting that lock on tighter. He's looking for the leg. Doesn't look for it. He's going to tighten it up. Now he's got it locked. But Tan's position is still good. He's still got that arm across. He's actually quite relaxed. Tan in this position, surprisingly, sitting in triangle. He's actually throwing shots back now as well. This is where maybe he wants to try and pop out of it. He's going to survive the round, Tim. Yeah, definitely. I don't think this triangle is any problem for Tan. It's not going to finish him. And he's just being peppered with shots. Interesting first round. So if you look at the replay now, you can see Tan instantly going for that arm lock here. He tried it once, look for it again. Rajiv sensible, turns his body straight. Look, he goes for it again, can't get him. So again, I don't think we're gonna see Tan give Rajiv any space on the stand up here. He's gonna to look to close that space down. There we go. Good, Jeff Cross, and he's trying to press. Yeah, Got gets him up against. Makes it very difficult for Rajiv to do much here. He can't spread his legs. Tan looking for that single again. He's got his game plan. He swaps it to a double. Hands behind the hips, goes back to the single. Looks to pick him up off the cage and drop him backwards. He's looking for the ankle pick now, swaps legs. Oh, he's down. doing every takedown he knows in one go. <laughs> yeah. And a minute, Rajiv. He's just start trying to push his, push his head away, trying to work a little bit of space, get them underhooks in there. Yeah. Otherwise, Tan's just going to go straight back into that double leg. I think, I think Rajiv is actually a bit uh, puzzled at the moment as to how to deal with Tan. Well, he's just not been able to let his stand up go like we've seen him on other shows just because this kind of pressing game Tan's doing is giving him no yeah. room to show his skills. Perfect. It's a great strategic game. I mean, absolutely the most sensible thing you should have done. Absolutely. I've had the same thing happen to me. It's very frustrating. It can really mess with your mind as a fighter. When you're a stand-up fighter and you're just being pressed, smothered, you've just got to keep calm, yeah. try and use your techniques to get out of it and get it back to where you want the fight. Yeah. But Tan definitely showing himself the stronger of the two here. He's got, he's got far better pressure. He's got 
more game in this position, in this grinding position. I like how Tan uses his head in these positions to grind as well. He drives his head into the centre of Ranjeev and it just makes it very difficult. That's what I mean, I think Ranjeev needs oh, to start drops for the single right. again now. He's looking to pick it up. Ref telling Ranjeev to not hold the cage. Oh. Oh. Straight into half guard. Valiant, great, great takedown defense there by Rajiv. He was always looking to push the head down, make him very sensible. Tan just wasn't ever going to give up that leg. Be interested to see how much energy Tan expelled going for that takedown. They were clinched up against that cage for well over a minute. Yeah, I mean, it's exhausting. As you know, as I vaguely remember now, that is exhausting to be up against in that grinding position against the cage, pummeling for position. A lot of people think not much is going on at that part, start part of the game, but it's exhausting. Absolutely, I mean, you try to use as much technique as you can, but obviously the strength and power endurance really comes in there. Especially when you break, the arms burn, that lactic acid builds up. It's 10 seconds left of the round. Raining the punches down. And that is it. No. Wow. wow. Finished him right on the money. Wow. Unbelievable. It is all over. Wow. That must have been like a second off the round. Yeah. Just what a finish. The replay now. Just he's sitting in that half guard team. Here he goes. He postures up in a minute. Starts he gets throwing some in space. Bombs. That's what it was. Look at that. Wow. And a right call by our ref. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for both warriors. Come on. Oh, chair over there. Yeah. This time in the two minutes and 59 seconds off the second round. To your winner by Nahat Ranchi. Incredibly fast. You looked, I'm not gonna lie, you looked in a little bit of trouble to start with. Talk me through how you got out of it. Not mean that arm lock, but I had to like push my hips in towards him so it kind of relieved the pressure to the elbow. And that's exactly what I said. Even Lacking Sandy was saying the exact same thing. And I listened to them. So good, you I mean you were listening to your corner obviously, they know what they're talking about. Um, and then just at the end of that first round. I was surprised to see you pulling Tan into a triangle there. I mean, it, it was a surprise. It didn't look quite tight enough. He looked comfortable. What was going on there? I was trying to pull his head down more so I can sink my, so I can pull my leg in that, that was across his um, uh, back. So I was trying to pull that in by pulling his head down, and now so I can pull my uh, leg leg in closer so it makes it tighter. And then the round just went through finishing. And then second round. I thought more of the same, Tan put a load of pressure on you. He had you up against the cage. As a guy who likes to throw a bit of heavy leather, it looked frustrating. Yeah. Um, oh, no, I wasn't frustrated at all. No. I wasn't frustrated at all, no, no, no. I was calm through the entire bit. Like, my last two fights, I was quite nervous. And like, the adrenaline went in and everything. But this time, I was more calm. And then came the knockout. Yeah. And for me watching, I think we had maybe one second left on the round. Yeah. That's a, hell of a, that's a hell of a way to finish a round. I was, when I was hammer fisting him, I saw his eyes roll back, so I was like, keep going, keep going, until the ref just stops it, and then he stopped it. Well, great fight, congratulations. Look forward to seeing you fight again soon. Guys, ladies and gentlemen, big round of applause for your winner.